Greetings Packers fans, it's time for one of the most important matchups of the season, Packers vs. Lions. This matchup is crucial to deciding who takes the lead in the NFC North. We'll go over the key points that could decide the game, exploring weaknesses, strengths, and what the Packers need to do to secure this victory. Stay tuned for every detail. Jared Goff is on a roll, throwing with clinical precision. In the last four games, he has only completed 13 passes and thrown 10 touchdowns, which has put the Packers' defense on alert. The combination of the Lions' offensive scheme and Goff's performance has been the foundation of Detroit's success. With a system that prioritizes play action, he has led a powerful and efficient aerial attack. The Packers' defense, especially the secondary, will have to be on point to limit Goff's impact. The focus on play action means defenders will need to be aware of both the passing and running game. If the Packers can't keep Goff under pressure, he can easily exploit gaps in the defense and gain ground. To stop Goff, the Packers need to constantly pressure him. Taking Goff out of his comfort zone and forcing him to make quick decisions can be an effective strategy. An aggressive defense with well-timed blitzes will be essential to disrupt the Lions quarterback's rhythm. While the Lions' offensive line has been one of the strongest in the league, it has shown weaknesses recently, allowing four sacks in the last game against the Titans. This unexpected performance is a red flag for Detroit, which relies on a solid line to give Goff time in the pocket and for the running game to be effective. This is where the Packers need to step up their pass rush. Lions left tackle Taylor Decker has struggled on some plays and has allowed sacks in five of the last few games. Left guard Graham Glasgow has also struggled in recent weeks. If the Packers can capitalize on these weaknesses, they could turn the Lions' offensive line weakness into a significant advantage. To win this battle, the Packers need an aggressive and well-coordinated pass rush. If they pressure Goff, the Lions' offensive line could crumble, and that will increase Green Bay's chances of forcing turnovers and dominating the defensive backfield. Aiden Hutchinson's absence has been a blow to the Lions' defense. Without him, Detroit's pass rush has slowed, managing just one sack in three games. Hutchinson is one of the Lions' best defensive linemen, and his presence has helped keep opposing quarterbacks under constant pressure. His absence weakens the defense, creating an opportunity for the Packers' offense. The absence puts pressure on defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn to find new ways to pressure the opposing quarterback. He has been experimenting with alternative schemes, but Hutchinson has been sorely missed, leaving the Lions' secondary more exposed. If Jordan Love gets more time in the pocket, he could make big plays and take advantage of Detroit's defense. For Love and the Packers' offense, the strategy is clear. Take advantage of Hutchinson's absence. With quick, well-planned plays, Green Bay can keep the Lions' defense in check and take advantage of the lack of pressure they typically exert without their star defensive player. The Lions have struggled to contain the opposing running game, a weakness that was highlighted in games against the Seahawks and Vikings, where they allowed more than 130 rushing yards. This vulnerability could be a decisive factor in the matchup. As the Packers have a strong ground attack that can open up space for the rest of the attack. To compensate for this shortcoming, the Lions' defense has adopted a bend but don't break approach, trying to limit damage and prevent big plays. Still, players like Josh Jacobs are capable of exploiting these gaps in the defensive line and making big runs. If the Packers can dominate the running game, they can control the pace of the game and keep the Lions their co-offense off the field. The Packers should focus on a balanced and creative running game with play-action combinations. This will allow the offense to vary between running and passing, keeping the Lions' defense uncertain and therefore vulnerable. For the Packers, one of the keys to winning the game will be keeping control of the clock. Matt LaFleur knows that if he can establish a strong running attack, he can kill the clock and limit Goff's chances on offense. Holding the ball for long stretches prevents Detroit from finding the offensive rhythm it is looking for. By controlling the tempo, the Packers can also set a more favorable pace for Love, giving him time to read the defense and execute plays calmly. This type of strategy helps reduce the risk of turnovers and increases the efficiency of the offense.
Lafleur will have to be patient and creative to maintain control of the game and wear down Detroit's defense. If the Packers can maintain a high time of possession, they will have a psychological and physical advantage. This could frustrate the Lions and force them to make mistakes that the Packers can convert into points. Playing at Lambeau Field always brings a special energy, and that support will be vital on Sunday. The stadium's intense atmosphere and the unwavering support of the fans create a high-pressure environment for any opponent. The Lions know that at Lambeau, every play is tough and the fans make all the difference. The absence puts pressure on defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn to find new ways to pressure the opposing quarterback. He has been experimenting with alternative schemes, but Hutchinson has been sorely missed, leaving the Lions' secondary more exposed. If Jordan Love gets more time in the pocket, he could make big plays and take advantage of Detroit's defense. For Love and the Packers' offense, the strategy is clear. Take advantage of Hutchinson's absence. With quick, well-planned plays, Green Bay can keep the Lions' defense in check and take advantage of the lack of pressure they typically exert without their star defensive player. The Lions have struggled to contain the opposing running game, a weakness that was highlighted in games against the Seahawks and Vikings, where they allowed more than 130 rushing yards. This vulnerability could be a decisive factor in the matchup, as the Packers have a strong ground attack that can open up space for the rest of the attack. To compensate for this shortcoming, the Lions' defense has adopted a bend-but-don't-break approach, trying to limit damage and prevent big plays. Still, players like Josh Jacobs are capable of exploiting these gaps in the defensive line and making big runs. If the Packers can dominate the running game, they can control the pace of the game and keep the Lions' offense off the field. The Packers should focus on a balanced and creative running game with play-action combinations. This will allow the offense to vary between running and passing, keeping the Lions' defense uncertain and therefore vulnerable. For the Packers, one of the keys to winning the game will be keeping control of the clock. Matt LaFleur knows that if he can establish a strong running attack, he can kill the clock and limit Goff's chances on offense. Holding the ball for long stretches prevents Detroit from finding the offensive rhythm it is looking for. By controlling the tempo, the Packers can also set a more favorable pace for Love, giving him time to read the defense and execute plays calmly. This type of strategy helps reduce the risk of turnovers and increases the efficiency of the offense. Lafleur will have to be patient and creative to maintain control of the game and wear down Detroit's defense. If the Packers can maintain a high time of possession, they will have a psychological and physical advantage. This could frustrate the Lions and force them to make mistakes that the Packers can convert into points. Playing at Lambeau Field always brings a special energy and that support will be vital on Sunday. The stadium's intense atmosphere and the unwavering support of the fans create a high-pressure environment for any opponent. The Lions know that at Lambeau, every play is tough and the fans make all the difference. For the Packers, the home crowd is an added boost. This support can boost team morale and help players overcome the most difficult moments of the game. The defense, in particular, benefits from the noise of the crowd, making it difficult for the opposing offense to communicate and making plays even more difficult for Goff and company. Lambeau Field will be a differentiator in the matchup, and the Packers fans could be the 12th man on the field, putting extra pressure on the Lions and strengthening Green Bay's team's spirit. The Packers' defense will have a tough task, containing one of the most dynamic offenses in the league. However, with the pass rush and secondary in good shape, the team can make things tough for the Lions' offense. The key will be to force Goff out of the pocket and throw passes on the move, where he is less accurate. With Hutchinson out of the Lions, the Packers have a chance to balance the pressure and dominate the trenches. Maintaining defensive discipline and not allowing big plays will be essential to Green Bay's success. Additionally, turnovers can be a game-changing factor. Green Bay's defense needs to be solid and consistent, limiting Goff's offensive options. If the Packers can pressure Goff and force mistakes, they could create critical opportunities for the offense to capitalize on. 
Jordan Love will have a golden opportunity to showcase his talent on one of the NFL's biggest stages. With Hutchinson out and the Lions' defense vulnerable, Love will have more time and freedom to roam the field. This game is an opportunity for him to solidify his position and gain the trust of both his teammates and the fans. Love needs to be careful about creating turnovers that could give the Lions an advantage. Quick plays and short passes can help establish rhythm and consistency. If he can balance the running game and passing well, he can make the most of Detroit's weakened defense. This game is crucial for Love's development and his ability to play against a tough defense. With a strong performance, he could prove he's the right quarterback to lead the Packers back to the top of the division. The matchup between head coach Matt LaFleur and Lions defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn will be a battle of wits and creativity. LaFleur must find ways to exploit the weaknesses of the Lions defense, while Glenn will try to plug the holes caused by Hutchinson's absence and adjust the pressure on Love. LaFleur's ability to adapt the game plan and respond to changes in the defense will be vital. Glenn, on the other hand, needs to keep the Lions' defense from being exploited deep and find ways to confuse Love with different formations and schemes. This clash of strategies could be the deciding factor in the game. Whoever comes out on top in this matchup will have a clear advantage in controlling the pace of the game. If LaFleur can get past Glenn, the Packers will have a good chance of winning. This matchup isn't just about winning a game, it's a historic battle for the division lead. The Packers and Lions have one of the oldest and most intense rivalries in the NFL, and this game could be a game-changer for both teams' futures this season. Whoever wins will take the lead and create a clearer path to the playoffs. For the players, this game is about more than just winning. It's about pride and proving who's the best in the NFC North. Plus, the psychological impact of leading the division after a head-to-head -head matchup can give them the confidence they need to face the rest of the season with full strength. If the Packers win, it will boost the team and the fans, creating a wave of confidence. A win against the Lions could be the boost they need to cement the team as the division favorite and establish a lead in the NFC North. Now it's up to us Packers fans. This game is about more than just points on the table. It's a chance to take over the NFC North. Be sure to comment on what you expect from this game. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the Packers news. Let's cheer together for another victory. Go Pack! Go!